What is going on guys, this is Lodge here and today I'll be showing you my tech setup. Also, um I'll leave the uh, Lightroom in the description as well. And um yeah, so I'll be showing you how to create this. So uh just hide this. So um first things first you wanna grab your mode text and just do all the usual stuff. Um go to object, change the depth to fifty and the text or just call it anything you want, I'm gonna call it PMHD and just center it out into the middle and you wanna um, copy um, your more text so you press control C control V and then you wanna go to your caps um, start cap at filler cap and cap at filler cap as well and the radius to 1 and the end radius to 1 as well and once you've done that you just wanna drag it to the back and you can also drag in materials just so you don't get um, so so you don't get mixed up between the two motexes in case you're dragging in and out so the the one the motex the copy the duplicated one uh, changed it to a dark black and the front one to a light gray so it should look like that uh, i just drag that a bit back okay yeah It's a bit more forward, okay. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you can just change the font. Uh, I'm gonna use um, Avast, I think it's called. Av AvQuest, yeah, AvQuest, yeah, it's called AvQuest. Yeah, and um, you can duplicate your list by pressing Control C, Control V again, and uh, the duplicated ones you can um, use Trousy on them, so you can go to your plugins and then Trousy. And then change the pieces to 32 and then break now. This might take a while. I'm just gonna pause it and I'll be back when the when the thousings done. So yeah guys, um back in the rent and the thousands finished. So um what you wanna do is you wanna uh, click on this um, play button here and it, there's like a small line with attached next to it, just hit that and what that should do, it should throw your, yeah, it should give you that kind of effect, it should like throw out your pieces and what you want to do is you go ahead and just tick all of the boxes with the X line, you can just hold left click and drag, just drag to the top then you want to go to say MoGraph and then Fracture and then grab all your thousand pieces into the Fracture and then go to MoGraph again, Effector, and then Random and it will randomize the pieces as you can see and you want to change the weight to 69 and the Effector you can drop it to whatever you like uh, I'm going to try 7 7, nope I think actually I'll stay on 7 yeah so you can just drag it random into the fracture and you can just highlight both your motexes and just drag them to the front let's drag it a bit more so you can let us a, a bit at least a bit more visible Okay, um, once that's done, um, you can, hmm, let's see what we should do. What you can do is, um, oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, your, uh, both of you more text, um, you can press, um, press Control C, Control V, and you can press C and then what will happen is that that will open up individual lettering letters so once that's done you can just drag the nerbs nerb letters and just extract them out and then just delete that and now if you open up all of the normal letters from your extra nerbs um, you can use try and use Reaper X so you can go to your plugins, click on Reaper X and then pull out all of your AI files from the extra nerves. Ok, 
okay and you can now delete all of the extruded nerves and just take this one out okay so now that's done you can duplicate the WBX by pressing control and this the whole left click and this you should get this kind of icon just do that and just keep duplicating it I'll do four for now Oops. Yeah, so you can just drag your letters into your repair um, you can um, on here you can either choose to carry on using the repair X um, as you did for the following ones but you don't have to so I'm just gonna go with um, just the repair X being here so once you've done that you wanna highlight all your repair X's and um, you wanna go to your radius you wanna change it to say um, by two and strands completely up to you, preference presence. Um strands I'll put mine to two and distance completely up to you as well. And for here I'm gonna use a um, a glow texture. I mean sorry, a glow material on the repair axis. So I just duplicate that by pressing control and just doing the same thing. And you can uh yeah, I think that's most of it. Um, one other thing is with the fracture, you can go back again if you want to restart anything. So, should reset. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, if you want to reset, you gotta untick all these, and you gotta highlight this and move it to the back again. And it should come back into its normal place. Oh, but if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, you can just, I'll just drag out the Motex a bit more out. And now, I'll render that out. I'll just pause it. So yeah guys, um the render's done and your outcome should look something like this. I also leave this in the description, um the Lightroom in the description as well. So yeah guys, um hope you enjoy the tutorial and if you have any tutorial suggestions, suggestions, please um leave in the comment below. And yeah guys, um I'll see you in my next tutorial. Um what I'm hoping to do is uh, try and introduce some um, Adobe Illustrator and uh, After Effects tutorial as well. So if you guys would like to see that, um, then just leave a comment below. So yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial again and peace. I'm